Hi friends, this is Vemar Reddy. So today in this video, we are going to learn how we are going to integrate Bumi and flow. Let me just share my screen. Okay, so in this video, we are going to see how we are going to integrate the Bumi integration and flow services. So as you know, the Bumi has an additional component called flow component. As you can know, you can use this flow to build any kind of UI based applications or you can embed this flow into any one of your workflows or you can use it as an applic mobile application also. So, but we just wanted to show you in this video how we are going to see an end result over here like this. Okay, so this is how the workflow was showing the output. I created a very simple output. Uh, but before I go and deep dive into this, I was just going to see how are we going to do these components, integrating all these things. So first thing is we need uh, components is required is in order to what I'm trying to do is so all this data, right? So all this data, I'm just going to fetch it from a Boomi process. So basically I'm going to, as soon as I start a workflow, I'm going to create, call a process. The process will give me this data. And with that data, I'm displaying over here. And then I'm displaying as a kind of bar charts here. Okay, so I might break down this uh, whole uh, uh, learning into a two videos, like uh, to shorten the video's length. First, we will see, uh, uh, the steps from the Bumi end. So what are the steps we require to do from Bumi end? Okay. So basically, right, how are these things are integrated is, this is a Bumi flow, Bumi has given as a nice diagram to represent this one, right? So how these things will be doing here is, first we have a Bumi flow API. So this we can leverage to build any mobile or uh, web applications or you can build a BPM kind of uh, applications uh, with low code and no code platform and the integration. So in order to integrate these two components, right? what we need is Boomi has come up with, uh, uh, it was not a new feature, like it was there in old, uh, but I'm trying to you know, uh, using this for the first time. So you can see there is a connector called Boomi flow service server, similar to web services server, Web services server connector. Boomi also have one more called flow service server connector. And then one more component, this, the way how we have an API component similar to this, we have an flow service component also there. So these are the two components that we need to build from Boomi uh, in order to integrate uh, whenever a, as part of any of flow, you want to make a, one of the step you want to call these processes from Boomi side, these are the two components that we need to build. One is a flow service component. You can correlate this as an API component. And this component internally refers a Boomi process, which is start shape is configured with Boomi flow services server connector. And then it returns a uh, return document. So all these things is deployed in the integration layer and this flow is deployed in the flow layer. So both we are connecting, okay? So here I just used only one of the action that is called database uh, load or uh, load step. There is a lot of things, features has been available, but we'll see all those things, you know, uh, the later, uh, time but as you can know once you are able to access the boomi uh, process then you have an access to n number of connectors so you can do a lot of features with this boomi okay with this information right let's jump into the boomi part okay let's jump into the boomi part so now let's go to the boomi part 
So I created two components here, as I mentioned. I mainly wanted to intend the current operation, create, retrieve, update, delete, but I just only use the query option. But before that, right? So first, let me use this one. Okay. So first, I created a process. This process is using the flow services server connector. By default, action will be listen. And then from operation side, so create an operation. What I can do is I configured a data action. So there is a three types of things you can do here. From Boomi, you can do three types of things. One is message action, another one is file resource, and another one is data action. So this data action step also utilize the same function as a message action. This data action is typically for kind of do for CRUD, create, retrieve, update, delete, but you can also use the same functionality of the data actions into the message action also, okay? But I use only data action and there is what type of action you want to use it. You want to use it for load, save, delete, because in flow, we have three shapes or three components are available to call these functionalities. When you use load, it means Whatever the process that I link with this data service action type, only I can call with this load act component only. There is a response profile here. So flow always expects to have a flattened JSON structure. Okay. Flattened JSON structure. So what I, what I did is I created an employee object and it has few fields. So I taken from Google, I taken there is an XML structure. This XML structure is here. The XML structure has few list of employees, around four employees it has. And these employees have a department and uh, ID, these two things we call it as an attributes and rest of the elements have name, position, joining year and salary. Okay, so now with this, but this XML data I am going to translate into multiple records with the JSON. So that's why with this matching structure, I created a JSON profile. You can see it's a flat structure I created. I, I did not create any of this. Again, this as an object, no. This because flow expects these to have a flattened structure. So with this start shape configuration is done. Okay. Once this flow services component is done, then I, the sample XML, what I showed here, I just kept it here. The reason because why I use this one is, even we can use a database connector also to get the same data. But the problem here is I'm not able to make this service integrated with flow because when I use database connector, I have to leverage on the local database which is installed and running on my machine so when i if i want to use that i should use a local atom when i use a local atom because i did not enable https i used only http because it eventually it uses as a web services call on the hood behind the hood so somehow maybe HTTP was not supporting or some reason it's not able to connect it. So that's why I did use a database connector. So I just leverage with some sample data. So that's the reason I use instead of database connector, you can think this as uh, you no know, marked kind of data. This will replicate the database functionality. Now, once I have this data, I just use this to translate the data from XML format to a JSON format. So you can see here, this employee is an array element here. So this has unbounded. It means it eventually what it can do, since it has multiple records, it generates multiple documents here. Okay, it generates multiple documents here. So in this case, if you see, I'm not expecting any data here. I'm not expecting any data here. It's kind of a simple get or query. So once the request comes here, and then I'm going to make this utilize the sample data and then transform it to json and then i'm returning it okay so after i created this component process what i can do is i just need to do the second step so this part is done now i'm going to link this process into the flow service component so that's where we are going to be here 
So you can see, you can just go ahead and create a flow service component. You can just go and create here. There is a flow. You can see flow service, collection of actions for a flow applications to use. So the way how we are calling is Boomi flow is going to call the integration and then get the data. It's not the other way around. Okay. If you want to do other way around also, I think there is also a possibility you can call there is a flow also here. Okay. Maybe if you want to use Boomi wanted to trigger a flow, I think still you can use this Boomi flow client with this. We can able to as as part of your Boomi process execution, you can trigger the flow as well. Okay. But anyway, that that thing we might see later part. Okay, so now we are calling only from Boomi flow to Boomi integration, not the other way around. Okay, once we created the component, right? So we just need to give some component, similar component name or service name. You can give any component name service, same as in. If you compare this API component similar to that, you give a base path here. So by default, this FS will be there and whatever the name that you give here, it automatically populates, okay? And then I did not use this uh, things. Maybe it's kind of configuration values, but I did not because once you enable these configuration values, you can pass this information from Boomi flow. Here you can see this flow service component can support three types of actions. One is data actions, message actions, and file lasers. As you can see, message actions is kind of take the request and uh, show the request and give the response back to the flow. This data actions is typically for the database query, update, delete, all these things. The file resources, you want to do anything handled with file components. You want to upload a file, you want to list a file, then you can use this one. So in this example, I have used data action. So you can just go to add data action object type here. So I selected, I created an object as employee here and the object type profile and the object type profile, I configured the employee object that I defined in this process operation, okay, start shape operation. And then I selected the query here because get means basically expects only to return one record, but in this case, I'm going to return multiple JSON objects of this version, okay? So now you can see in the query process, you know, specify the process that will handle loading up objects of this type, okay? When I say this type, it will be here. It's referring this type, okay? By the retrieved by query. So here I selected the query process, the process which I defined with flow services of our connector with this. So now these two components, because I did not specify the get say process, because if I use this process, I can be able to call, but from Boomi flow, I'm only using the load component. The load component can make call either to get component or query component here. But I'll show you the difference when we navigate to Boomi flow here. But here I'm just going to use only the query component. And now it's time to deploy. These are the only things you need to do from Boomi. Once you do these things, you deploy these two components. If you go to a deployments over here, now. Yes, sorry. Okay, let me move it. So now if I go to if I go to the packages, okay. If I want to just create a package component, okay. You can see you will be able to see the flow service component as well as your processes. If you want, you can even deploy both of the things. Okay, I already deployed these two things. Okay, now let me go to atom management. I deployed those things here as well as here, but I integrated this URL, okay? Now you can see, go to the deployed process, you will be able to see the process. You can see it is event-based since its start check is listener. Now, if you go to listener, you'll see two components. One is flow service component as well as Boomi web services kind of component. No? So with this, we are good. Our Boomi components, integration components has been deployed. Now, the last thing what you need to do, you need to see whether these things are working or not. 
how you can do these things go to shared web server just take this url and then put since you enabled the basic authentication go to here and then take the username and password and then what you can do with this user uh, entire url see if this thing is working or not you can see i just access this one here this is this one where do you get this one is on the base path wherever the flow service component has path to service field is referred to here when i click on here it just says it is kind of a service so flow also integrates to boomi through the rest services kind of services okay and then this is a uri status code because it doesn't support the get method right get is not supported for this type but just Tell you low, you know, just to let you know, this is the endpoint URL. With this, you'll be able to get the services. If you get this kind of response, it means your service is able to up and running. Okay, now I'll move to the flow component later, but I'll see, I'll just show you how these things will be triggered when you run from a boom. But let's just try to understand. Since I'm not sending any data here for the flow, we'll see no document here it's just an empty document here of zero sense once you go here you just go to the shape you can see since we have four documents you'll be able to see four documents is listed with written document so this is a kind of a simple service it takes no data and it just returns it just returns four types of data four records i can see okay so typically in boomi we can got four documents it is going to return this is the things we need to set up from the Boomi perspective. And then let's use this service or endpoint URL and try to uh, set up the things in Boomi and create a flow and then trying to run this end to end. Okay, we'll see those things in next video. Thank you for watching this.